Men don't get unconditional love. Men do not get unconditional love. Chris Rock said this in a comedy special a while back, and it caused a lot of drama. But what he said was factual. Men have two jobs to provide and to protect. And there's more expectations on the providing part. The stats are clear. Women initiate 80% of divorces. The number one reason for divorce is infidelity. They're cheating on the partner. The male is cheating. And number two is finance. Financial issues are the number two reason for divorce. Now, there's no negative social backlash for broke women, really. When a woman is broke, she's usually at conflict with herself about it, but there's a get out of jail free card in a lot of cases for a lot of women, which is called a man. I don't get it twisted. I'm not saying women can't provide for themselves because I know y'all are quick to get emotional and dumb. But when a man doesn't provide adequately, a couple of things happen. One, the woman doesn't respect him. I've seen several people in relationships where the woman makes significantly more than the man. And usually when this happens, the woman takes it as a license to be the man in a relationship. She wants to dictate everything because she's bringing in more income than her partner. And this usually puts the man in a tough predicament unless he's willing to play that role. And some guys are willing to play that role. In a relationship, there's always somebody playing the male. There's always somebody playing the female. And I know a lot of guys in relationships that are playing a more of a feminine role. But if you're not comfortable with that and you're making less money than your partner, it's going to lead to domination and disrespect. You know, I was talking to somebody I know and his wife was making significantly more than him. And he works from home. And she came home and screamed at him and asked him why the dishes weren't done. And as a man, that's something that's very difficult to swallow, to have a woman come home and yell at you and, and try to berate you because she makes more money than you. So she feels like she's the authority in the relationship, like she's the head of the home. So when you can't provide or when you don't provide or you can't provide at an adequate level, there's a loss of respect. And as men, Women expect us to provide them a certain level of lifestyle. And if this is not met for an extended period of time, it causes problems. It causes conflict. Obviously, there are some exceptions to the rule, but I'm talking about the great majority of women have certain lifestyle expectations. And if you're not able to fulfill those lifestyle expectations, it causes significant conflict in the relationship. So as men, we're under constant pressure to provide and lead the family financially. And if you don't do this, a lot of times what ends up happening is disrespect or the relationship ends because of your inability to provide properly. And this is a reality that a lot of men have to learn to accept. It's your job to be determined enough and creative enough to increase your income consistently to satisfy the needs of your family and your spouse. And a lot of guys nowadays, they'll complain about this not being fair, but being a man is not supposed to be easy. Whenever life gets too easy for men, it leads into destructive behavior, overeating, getting into drugs and alcohol. Whenever there's no fulfillment, whenever there's no working towards accomplishing a goal, men will naturally revert into negative states that are self-destructive. The fact that we are required to provide and protect is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But a lot of guys just don't understand this to be reality and they try to fight against it. And currently, as the world is, there's more single men than any other time. Men are staying virgins for longer. They're not getting partners. And this is because in the workforce, a lot of women are outworking men. 
a lot of women are earning more than men and they don't want to get in long-term relationships with somebody that's in a lower social status than them. A lot of times these women will stay single and the guys in turn don't have any partners. And what ends up happening is the men at the upper end of the financial echelon, these guys get all the women, right? You make a lot of money, then you usually have multiple women, right? And some women are willing to accept that over accepting a man that does not know how to provide adequately. Now, the other thing that we're supposed to be doing is protecting. Physically, most men nowadays are not able to protect anything. If you just walk around and you look at men at a grocery store or whatnot or a mall, wherever you go and there's a large amount of men, you will see that 98 out of every 100 men do not look like they are able to get into a physical confrontation and do well in it or if need be have to run or do something that is a hard task physically to protect most men that you see don't look like they could do anything of the sort what's happening is we're having a generation of men that are not protecting and not providing for you If you can understand this and understand the role of a man and understand that our value is earned, we're not just born with it. Like women are born with value. Men always want women, but women don't want men unless they do these two things exceedingly well in most cases. If you understand this and you accept this as reality, you don't get emotional and uptight about it. What you could do now is understand that your life purpose is to improve in these areas. So you need to get physically stronger. You need to get creative and find more ways and better ways to make money so that you are more valuable to women. And in turn, you get your pick of the litter. But it's a hard truth that a lot of men don't accept nowadays that You either protect or you provide or you have no value in the marketplace. You could be one or the other. I see all the time. I see dudes that got a lot of muscles and no money, but they get women. I see dudes that are frail, but they got a lot of money and they get women. But if you're both those things, if you're physically strong and you're able to make money, it puts you in a very rare group of men. And your life will become easier and you're going to get the respect from both the sexes and the majority of the people that you come in contact with because now you've reached the realm of the rare. Understand your position in this life. Understand what's expected of you. Don't get emotional about it. And once you accept this, it'll give you daily tasks to do. Increase your worth, improve your body. And then you could take these things and build a beautiful life around it. And you're not going to have to worry about any of those problems, the disrespect, the relationship issues. Obviously, you know, things happen in other areas, but you won't have to worry about it because of your inadequacy. With all that said, women, children, and dogs get unconditional love. But men, our love is earned. It's conditional and it's up to you to make sure that you put yourself in a position where people could love you. Thank you for listening and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.